You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, we put up several videos on this channel on Naomi Osaka and her refusal to speak to the media, not fulfill her obligations to speak to the media after her matches at the French Open. And she got fined $15,000 and eventually she did withdraw from the French Open because if she kept this up, she would actually be kicked out of the tournament or future Grand Slam tournaments as well. Now, I did say that there was a possibility that the race car could actually be played in this if she didn't actually withdraw from the tournament and continue to get fined. However, there's been a twist now. We found out a few days ago that the great Roger Federer has withdrawn from the French Open tournament. And now the race card is getting played. Because Roger Federer, and I criticized him for this, he wasn't injured. He actually won his match as well. Both him and Naomi Osaka won their matches. Then after the matches, they withdraw from the tournament. But it was for two completely different reasons. Now, when Naomi Osaka withdraw from the tournament, I was perfectly okay with that because I believe that if her mental health was that bad, she should not actually be in this tournament if she cannot fulfill her obligations. Roger Federer, on the other hand, perfectly healthy, and he won his match as well. He would draw because his confidence is, I believe, just broken at this point. He's 39 years old. I believe he's actually done, and he's fearful of going up against Nadal or Federer because he already said he knows he cannot win. So I criticize him for that. But people on Twitter, the Walt Sports Media, they're playing the race car because the responses by the French Open were two different things. So we're going to be diving into that in this video, folks. But first, make sure you guys go over to blackandwhitenetwork.com, sign up and become a member today. We have three different membership plans just starting at only $5 per month. You can actually get um, access to private videos over here. And you can see we actually did one uh, yesterday. That was a whole bunch of fun uh, talking about the NFL, Joe Biden, and et cetera here. But if you don't want to do any of that, just consider giving a one-time donation by clicking the, the donation tab or shopping for the merch. Use the discount code Lachana Sutz, S-U-X, all one word, and we're going to give you 15% off your purchase, folks. So let's go dive into this. Ugly Naomi Osaka twists in Roger Federer's French Open withdrawal. And it says here, Naomi Osaka has inevitably been dragged into Roger Federer's shot decision to withdraw from Roland Garros, with many slamming the French Open's response to both situations. Federer stunned the tennis world on Sunday when he pulled out of the French Open a day after winning a tough third round match that finished close to 1 a.m. The 39-year-old didn't specify that he was injured because he wasn't injured, simply saying he was opting to save himself for the grass court season and what would be a fairy tale 21st Grand Slam title at Wimbledon. Quote, after two knee operations and more than a year of rehabilitation, it's important that I listen to my body and not rush back into competition, he said. And he gives a whole drawn out statement right there. But, um, it goes on here. It says, um, I think it actually skipped something. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, Federer's decision has sparked some backlash in the tennis world, mostly around the fact that he denied third round opponent Dominic Coffer a place in the fourth round and a bigger payday. However, French Open officials were full of praise when reacting to Federer's withdrawal, despite it seemingly being against the spirit of the sport. Quote, the Roland Garros tournament is sorry about the withdrawal of Roger Federer, who put up an incredible fight last night, said Guy Foray, the tournament director. We are all delighted to see Roger back in Paris, where he played three high level matches. We wish him all the best for the rest of the season. Forge's uh, response was in complete contrast to the way he and other French Open officials responded to Osaka's decision to skip her press conference in Paris due to mental mental health reasons. Organizers initially slammed Osaka and threatened her with expulsion from the tournament before she eventually withdrew of her own accord. 
This is what they um, they actually said, quote, I think this is a phenomenal mistake. It shows to what extent today the need that there is strong governance in tennis. French French Tennis Federation President uh, Guise Gil um, Martin initially said of Osaka. What is happening here, in my opinion, not acceptable. We will stick to the laws and rules for penalties and fines. Fans and pundits were quick to point out the disparity between responses to the situations involving Osaka and Federer, while retired American player Marty Fish and the French Open only had themselves to blame for both. Now, here's the thing. Roger Federer did not break any rules. There's no rules that say you have to play. Just like when Naomi Osaka decided to, to withdraw from the tournament, she wasn't breaking a rule doing that. However, when she refused to speak to the media and not fulfill her obligations, she was actually breaking the rules. That's why the French Open actually came down and all the other four Grand Slam tournaments and they actually tried to reach out to her to help her. And she didn't even respond back to him. Roger Federer, even though I don't like he would draw from the tournament, he didn't break any rules. That's the difference right there in response. Naomi Osaka broke the rules. Roger Federer did not. Even though I believe that Roger Federer was just being a coward and not wanting to face Nadal or Djokovic, saying that he knew he couldn't win, so he just withdrew. I believe he should have just kept going on. And some people are talking about he just wants to use this as a tune-up for Wimbledon. No, I'm not buying that, man, because the French Open is on clay. That is a completely different surface, completely different uh, uh, playing style on the grass versus the clay. It's not a tune-up. There's going to be a tune-up after Wimbledon. Uh, probably, usually, uh, I believe Federer actually plays um, at Queens, the Queens tournament, and I believe that's going to be the tune-up. But um, this is Marty Fish said. He says, so the French Open lost to soccer. Didn't know how to handle a mental health issue and Federer scheduling. Two of the biggest draws in all the sports. Now, this is where the race car gets uh, played right here. Osaka. Hi, guys. I love to play, but I feel like I need to take a step away from the press conferences. Hashtag Roland Garros finds threatens threats of expulsion. Federer. Hi, guys. I'm dip, dipping out because I'm scared my knee won't uh, give me to Wimbledon. I think they meant to hold up to Wimbledon. Roland Garros. It's OK, Roger, baby. We love you. No. Naomi Osaka broke the rules. Uh, Mark A. Prince Jr. here says, while. While not the same scenarios, the contrast and reaction of Federer withdrawn versus Osaka withdrawn is interesting to note. And here we go right here. This person says Federer can listen to his body and do what's best. Use Roland Garros as a warm up for grass. But Naomi can't listen to her body and do what's best. Take a break from press for this tournament. Then here we go with the inequity stuff. The inequity of how the tournament reacted to the Federer and Osaka scenarios is staggering. If the roles were reversed, would they have threatened Federer with expulsion from Grand Slams? I think not. Well, I think they would have called out Roger Federer, too. If Roger Federer was breaking the rules, I believe that the tournament would actually call him out. Naomi Osaka, if she just decided, you know what? I'm not feeling up to par. I need to withdraw. Then she'll leave. I don't believe that they would actually criticize her. They're trying to make this a race race issue when it's really not a race issue. It's all about just following the rules. Nothing more than that. So, like I said before, Roger Federer did not break any rules. He didn't. I mean, th this is it's just that simple. But I knew that. People were going to start reacting like this. I knew that the media would start reacting like this, too, to where Roger Federer, a white man, would not get criticism from for withdrawing from the tournament from the French Open. But a mixed race Japanese black woman who actually breaks the rules would get criticism. The race card shouldn't even be coming into this, but this is not a surprise. And I do blame the media a lot for this because we have seen the way the media has went full on. Everything is race related in sports. This is the destruction of sports right here. 
But I saw this coming. I knew this was going to happen when Roger Federer withdrew from the tournament. But when Naomi Osaka first withdrew, the race car didn't get really, really get played. But when the white guy, Roger Federer, withdrew from the tournament, and then Roland Garros gives his statement saying, hey, we, we support you, Roger. We knew that this was going to happen right here. There's a rule book. Roger Federer followed the rule book, even though I don't like that he withdrew from the tournament. Naomi Osaka, she didn't. She broke the rules. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you guys think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.